The decision to place the entire country under MGCQ ultimately falls on President Duterte. This is according to IATF co-chairperson and cabinet secretary Carlo Nograles. In an interview on One News' The Big Story, Nograles clarified the proposal to relax the quarantine status in the country was merely a recommendation. Nograles emphasized, though, that reopening the economy is vital as the country transitions to its vaccination phase. So as we move and transition towards the vaccination rollout, we have to be um, uh, you, we have to reopen the economy even more, no? In mm. preparation also for uh, more vigorous movement ng ating ekonomiya, um, especially once we start rolling out the vaccines. Meanwhile, the health department says that though the government must strike the balance between health and economy, loosening quarantine protocols must be done gradually. On One News is the Chiefs, Health Undersecretary Maria Rosario Verhere said local governments must first be prepared for this move, especially as COVID cases are increasing in some cities in the metro as well as in other regions. Verhere said LGU should first assess whether they have adequate testing, tracing, isolation, and cross-border screening against COVID-19. Well, we recognize the value of the inputs of our mayors because I agree with them and I agree with you that they are the ones experiencing it on the ground. But we said that it has to be that the local governments are also prepared because once we loosen up uh, these uh, restrictions across the whole region, mm. the local governments have to step up.